Hello, hello, welcome back to the channel. So September 19th is the official release for not just iOS 13, but also watchOS 6. That's right, that's the official launch, no more beta. And as the time making this video, it's not just Friday the 13th, but by the time I'm done editing this video, you're most likely watching this on a weekend. Needless to say, that's still less than a week away from that official launch. An airplane would be flying right when I started recording, great. But the three months that we had beta testing this new OS, lots has changed. So I think it will be fun to actually go ahead and go over my top 10 highlights of watchOS 6. As a refresher, because again, the last time Apple actually over gave us an overview of watchOS 6 was over three months ago. So besides just the official release date, we also got the list of compatible devices. And that is the Series 1 or newer which is quite impressive because that's still the vast majority of Apple Watches. All of them are still practically still compatible to the latest update, except for the Series 0. So the Series 4 you see here is on watchOS 6 GM, Golden Masters. In other words, this is the official watchOS 6 that's gonna get released on the 19th, so there's no more changes. Now with all that said, let's go ahead and finally start our list. In for number one has to be the new built-in app store. This is a huge innovation and not just allowing the Apple Watch becoming more independent than ever before. Having its own built-in application app store inside the Apple Watch not just allows you to download apps without your phone, but you also have full search capabilities if there's a certain app you wish to download. Thanks to this app store application, it also allows the application to download updates automatically which this also allows the Apple Watch itself to update firmware updates without having to use your phone to download and install. It does it all independently now. And because of this awesome change, you can also not just delete third-party applications off the Apple Watch itself, but you can also delete some native applications as well. And very soon, third-party applications will be also very independent. Or in the past, when you download an application on your Apple Watch, it will also automatically download that same app on your phone, taking up storage space on both your devices. But in the future, developers will now actually make their applications be more independent than ever before, which means you could delete that application on your iPhone but still keep it on your Apple Watch. So for instance if I want Spotify on my Apple Watch only I could delete it on my phone but still keep that application on my Apple Watch so I could still stream music and all that good stuff. Right now it's still currently in the early stage but developers are slowly updating their apps so that this could be more supportive. This is great because it frees up more space on your iPhone especially if it's just an application that's only dedicated and designed for just the Apple Watch. The second best feature of watchOS 6 has to be the new watch faces. Especially now because, I don't know if you noticed, when Apple unveiled the Series 5, you might have noticed there's a new watch face that that Apple Watch now has. Well, was this official watchOS 6 GM release, the Series 4 also got these new watch faces. But before I give you a brief overview of these new watch faces, do keep in mind this is only supportive for the Series 4 or newer. This is due to the fact if you compare the previous generation Apple Watch to the latest one, the screen size is very small so it wasn't really going to fit. So if you have a Series 3 or older, you're not getting these updates unfortunately, but you'd still do get the rest of the other amazing features. So you're not entirely left out. So Meridium was the watch face that was used in the Series 5 when it got unveiled, and if you could see it holds up a total of four complications a wider one on top for a digital clock if you want and if you notice the overall design is very clean and you can also change the colors of the complication layouts to also match the official Apple Watch band. So every Apple Watch band that was released by Apple, you'll be able to change to that color on the Apple Watch itself. Another new Apple Watch watch face is included for those who happen to own the Nike Plus Edition Apple Watches. This watch face is called the Nike Hybrid. It comes in a variety of different styles to choose from, and they also gave us a few more exclusive color options. It holds up a total of four complications on each corner, and one center one and this one matches really well if you have the Nike Windrunner jacket. Now this next one is already a watch face that you might have already seen. It's the California and it has an overall classic appeal. You can use it in many different color options to match your Apple Watch band as well and you're also capable from going from full screen to circular if you need space for some complications. Modiol Compact is the next one and this one can hold a total of three complications, a wider one at the bottom and the clock can be changed to analog or digital. This next one is called Solar Dial and it's very unique and pretty cool. It shows you the full sun rotation 
around the globe within the 24 hours. And you can also use the crown wheel to fast forward or go back to see the exact time of sunrise or sunset. And then these next three watch faces are mainly just for looks. This one is Gradient, then you got Numeral Duo, and lastly, this here is called Numeral Mono. Now this third new improvement has to be the new and improved Enhanced Siri. Siri is not just capable of identifying songs on your Apple Watch, but now if you ask Siri general questions about historical events, Siri will also show you an article right there on the wrist where you can actually browse and navigate through the web. Siri can now take more requests. If you want to ask Siri to launch a podcast, Siri could do so. And all that works very well. This next new innovation probably has to be one of my favorite as it not only made my lifestyle more productive than ever before, and it's surprisingly not a health feature. It's the new hourly chimes. In the past, whenever I was working on a task, on a project, and I'm really focused on it, I tend to occasionally just lose track of time. So if you too also face this experience where you just finally complete whatever task you're working on and you realize, oh crap, it's 8 p.m. I was supposed to be done three hours ago. Well, ever since I enabled this, this sends push notifications on the hour, not push notifications, but it like vibrates lightly to indicate that an hour just passed by. It's the next hour, it's eight o'clock, it's two o'clock, it's three o'clock, etc. You can change this to every hour or every 30 minutes. And when your Apple Watch is unmuted, it could play the sound of birds chirping or the sound of bells. But thanks to this new feature, I noticed I've never been late to a meeting, nor have I arrived late to my appointments. You know how church bells usually ring like every hour, I wanna say? It's kinda like that, but your personal device that's on your wrist. Now, voice memos has to be the next one that has to be a part of this list, as this is not just simply an application, but also has its own complication. And I've used voice memos in the past, but these were third-party applications. But now since this is a native app, it will automatically get synced and back up on your iCloud account. So you could go back and forth from your iPhone and your Apple Watch. And the beauty about voice memos on the Apple Watch, it launches extremely fast. So if somebody's giving me instructions right then and there to like in a very important guide, I could quickly launch the application and record. And I could listen to the recorded playback audio on the speaker on the Apple Watch itself or I could listen to it on my iPhone. And yes, you could connect Bluetooth headphones if you want. The next great innovation has to be the calculator application. As ridiculous it may sound, for a smartwatch it's kind of embarrassing that it never had a calculator app to begin with. Because back in the day in the like 90s and 80s, smartwatches back then used to be these geeky looking calculator watches. But thanks to watchOS 6, that's no longer a case because now it actually does have the calculator app. Now previously before, the Apple Watch could do basic math if you use Siri. But the thing about using Siri, you actually have to talk loudly to it. And depending on your surrounding, it might be really loud that Siri might not be able to pick up your voice. But thanks to this application, that's all now resolved. If you're using the newest generation Apple Watches, thanks to this larger display, numbers are very easy to press. And I have surprisingly found this application extremely useful, especially when you're out and dining or if somebody gives you information maybe like a salesman and you need to quickly do a fast equation to verify that salesman is giving you the right information entering that calculation on your wrist is less likely to cause a distraction letting them know that you're trying to verify something so in some ways you'll maintain like a poker face from any clever suspicion that you're trying to one-up the other salesman Let's see what I mean but this calculator app is very useful, especially when you're dining with your friends, because there's also is a tip tool built into the calculator where you can enter a tip calculation and also split the bill with your friends with just a few clicks automatically. And yes, you can set this as a complication as well. Now these next few is health related and let's go ahead and begin and cover activity trends. Now it doesn't show this information on the Apple Watch itself. Where you find activity trends, you have to launch the activity app on your main device on your iPhone. And then underneath is where you see trend. Tap on that and you're going to see little arrows on the side on each category. So for instance, my exercise is up, but everything else is down. This is because I work behind a computer most of the time. So I'm usually sitting, I'm not really moving and it calculates all this from my average from the past 90 days. So as of right now, I'm really flacking off. But in my exercise, since I train five times a week, I really do push myself. So this is all up. 
Trent is said to help motivate people to get you off your butt a little bit more. And after seeing this, I understand I have to stand up a little bit more because I've been sitting on my butt for too long now. But that's just your general overview on how trends work. And I'm sure we can all see this benefiting a lot of users, especially if you're trying to burn more calories. But this next one is hearing health, and this is actually a really cool one. It could also be used as a complication, which actually will measure the live decibel levels right there. And no, it doesn't surprisingly reduce battery life at all. I didn't know it was a drop in battery life on my Apple Watch with this update. So if you're wondering if it drains your battery life, it doesn't at all at a significant level. But the way this new hearing health tool works is like this. Let me just give you my example, how I benefited off of this. Whenever I'm driving to point A to B, and it happens to be like an hour long drive, if the roads are boring, I tend to typically raise the volume of the music that I'm listening to. And if the music is too loud, the Apple Watch will actually send me a push notification and let me know that I've been listening to this audio over 80 decibel level mark. And it's known if you continue listening at this peak, it will lead to temporary hearing loss. And ever since I've been listening to my Apple Watch, I lower down the volume. And now when I arrive to my destination, my eardrums aren't buzzing or anything like that, which is something that used to always commonly happen to me. But ever since that update, again, now when I arrive to my destination, I no longer face this issue. And the people I can see benefiting off of this, for one, are club masters who go to a bunch of different concerts, clubs, or even general people that work inside a warehouse or deal with loud machinery. The watch will still give you these notifications so you don't damage your hearing. The Apple Watch will automatically keep track of the sound levels to protect your ears and prevent you from experiencing any hearing damage or loss. Now this next health innovation is for the ladies that's watching this video, and that is cycles. With this application, you'll be able to log in information relating to your menstrual cycles by just simply tapping on the screen. It is also said it can also help you predict the next period or fertile window. And then this final one has to be the new and improved map application. Not only has the maps actually got a new overhaul redesign, but if you're walking through a city or even a neighborhood, the way this application now gives out directions is amazing. Now you have actual arrows pointing you toward the right direction and underneath you can also see the direction where you're about to turn. Before it wouldn't really update like this and you had to still rely on street signs but now since it has arrows that will adapt, the gain directions display on your wrist like this, going through neighborhoods and streets, you're less likely to get lost now. And there we have it folks, those were my top 10 features, my top picks of highlights for WatchOS 6. Which one of these are you most excited for? Feel free to comment down below. And if you're curious if you should go ahead and upgrade to the Series 5, definitely do check out this video right here. I go more in depth in its features if it's really truly worth upgrading to the series 5 or are you better off really just going with the series 3 and if you want to find out more about watch os 6 i do a full in-depth review in this video right here which you can also go ahead and check out now please excuse me as i gotta drink this coffee before it gets cold see ya